hormones FSH, the follicle stimulating hormone, and LH, the luteinizing hormone, are known as the gonadotropins because they are tropic hormones, hormones which affect the release of other hormones, which cause steroidal hormone release from the gonads. FSH, the follicle stimulating hormone, is produced in both males and females and is essential for fertility in both males and females, although its name is obviously given for its role in the development of follicles in females. When the cells of the hypothalamus uh, release gonadotropin releasing hormone, this then causes the release of the FSH and LH from the cells of the anterior pituitary known as gonadotrophs. The GnRH is released rhythmically in pulses and the timing of these pulses determines whether FSH is released from the pituitary in slower pulsating uh, releases of GnRH or luteinizing hormone when the pulses occur more rapidly. The GnRH is released into a capillary bed in the hypothalamus and then portal veins transported to a second capillary bed in the anterior pituitary where it stimulates the gonadotropes to release FSH and LH. All pituitary peptides possess the same alpha chain but then the beta chains vary uh, depending on the individual hormones. The FSH beta chain has 111 amino acids and carbohydrate groups are attached to these amino acids, which are then important because there are more than a dozen different forms of FSH known as isoforms, which vary in which carbohydrate uh, groups are attached, uh, the sialic acid content of these carbohydrate groups, uh, the uh, sulfate uh, attachments, and so therefore one isoform of FSH varies in these other modifications. The differences between these isoforms then affect the half-life uh, of uh, the molecule, which is on average two and a half hours or so before being destroyed by the liver, and also the bioreactivity. Some forms have different effects on other tissues than others. For example, the more acidic isoforms are more likely to have a greater effect on the earlier follicles, while the more basic isoforms affect the later follicles and the selection of a dominant uh, follicle prior to ovulation. Not only is FSH produced in the pituitary, it is also produced by the ovary itself. So there is ovarian FSH in addition to ovarian GnRH and ovarian LH. And as the uh, menstrual cycle uh, proceeds through the pre-ovulatory phase, the FSH is stimulating the antral follicles. It seems that FSH does have some role in the maturation of the earlier follicles, especially perhaps in modulating the relationship between the granulosa cells and the oocyte and their production of local factors. Um, but FSH is best known for its effect on the antral follicles, which greatly increase in size prior to ovulation. In one month, perhaps 5 to 30 of these antral follicles begin development. And while any of them could become the dominant follicle and undergo ovulation, Typically, only one will in a given month, although in 1% or 2% of the cases, perhaps two dominant follicles are produced. This is because there is an FSH window where FSH levels reach a certain threshold. The dominant follicle, which reaches a certain stage of development, 
uh, then releases uh, hormones such as estrogen and others, which then cause a decrease in FSH production. So there is one follicle which reaches a certain size before FSH levels start to decrease. And as they decrease beyond this window, then the others which had begun development will then fail to develop completely. And after ovulation, ovulation will undergo programmed cell death or apoptosis.